Seems as if almost every week that passes, we get more and more sophisticated with the stuff we try and our capacities with our 3D printing bay here in our tech lab in Sierra Hall. <clears throat> this is uh, an example of, of more and more complex shapes we're able to produce. Uh, originally, we had this guy. Now, this is our uh, main printer, our largest printer, uh, our Taz. And what you see is we're right above the cold air intakes, the, the air conditioning flows, basically. And we were having lots of problems where we'd see de deformation of these larger pieces and stuff wouldn't go as smoothly as we wanted. So, for example, we, we had lots of lots of error and lots of uh, uh, the, the, the base plate or the, or the base um, printed material start to warp because of differential temperature and then snag the print head and cause problems. <clears throat> so we built this nice little uh, quick container around it with cheap stuff from Home Depot and it works quite well and keeps the temperature under control and no warpage. What we're also doing is um, figuring out ways to avoid waste in, in other ways. Now this is our newest printer. This one is from uh, China. And what we find is as we print these guys it's all good, but occasionally we do have problems. The head snags or there's something going on. And as we do larger and larger pieces, instead of a few minutes, it might take you know an hour or more, depending on the complexity. And so it doesn't really make sense for students to necessarily be in here. So Tim and a bunch of my students hooked up this really neat uh, uh, innovative solution, which was they put a little webcam right here. So now we can look down at this uh, black guy that we're printing down in here and see that everything's cool. <clears throat> We run through our Raspberry Pi uh, controller here, and uh, we're now streaming this live video uh, on the web. So if my students want to check and see if this printer is working, they can just log on and check, and if there's a problem, they can kill it remotely, as opposed to letting the printer run and run if it got snagged for a long time, waste material, and just sort of waste energy and, and, and all that. So we continue to evolve our capacities here at our 3D printing bay in the ESRM department here at CSU Channel Islands.